you all very much. Please be seated. Welcome. Um, we'll have some opening statements and give the Philippines greater access to American defense equipment and supplies. Damage that we did to the organization. Uh, I, first of all, I've said this is going to be, I always said this is going to be a long war. That uh, it is not only a long war, a new kind of war. We're trying to chase down people who hide and you know, move around in the dark corners of the world, and they plot and they plan, and then they pop up and kill. They don't care about innocent life. And we're making progress. I mean, we are slowly but surely dismantling the Al Qaeda operational network. But we've got a lot of work to do. And so I'm pleased with progress we made, but I, I will continue to warn the American people, like I've been doing for a long time, that this is still a dangerous world we live in. And, uh, you know, clearly the attacks in Saudi Arabia mean that we've got to be on alert here at home, that we've got to be diligent, that we've got to understand there's an al-Qaeda group still actively plotting to kill. Uh, we, 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 you know, we're working on the clues out of Morocco to determine whether there's a direct connection between that al-Qaeda operation and uh, what happened in Morocco. Time will tell. But the world is dangerous, which means that we've got to continue to renew these alliances and these friendships to make sure that we make the world more secure. The United States is committed to helping. But Prime Minister Sharon's fixing to come over here, and of course there are terrorists who want to disrupt the visit by bombing and killing. It's clear there are people there that still cannot stand the thought of peace, and therefore uh, it reminds, it gives me a chance to remind people in the region that if you're interested in moving the peace process, join us in fighting terror. And uh, I, I still believe that we need to, I not only believe, I will move the process forward. But it is clear that the process is not going to be smooth so long as terrorists kill. Exactly how the uh, war against terrorism has affected the GM. Well, the roadmap still stands. The vision of two states uh, existing side by side in peace is a real vision and one that I will work toward. But we've got, to, we've got a lot of work to do to convince all of us who care about peace to step up and fight off terror to cut off the money and to find these people and bring them to justice. No, we're still on the, we're still on the road to peace. It's just going to be a bumpy road. And I'm not going to get off the road until we achieve the vision. General Myers, officials of the U.S. government, we, your friends, must find a way to support continued and active engagement with the U.S. at a time when there are some forces in my region working against such a relationship. All the wisdom counsels commitment in the face of terror, the temptation to disengage is strong. <laughs> 